I'm Roxanne Evans Stout and I would like to share with you some of the workshops that I'll be teaching at Art and Soul in Virginia Beach later in September and in Portland, Oregon next year in April. And I'll be teaching three workshops and I would love to tell you more about them. My first workshop on Wednesday, September the 28th is uh, where we will be using my stencils, which I have many now, um, to create beautiful works of art. Um, this is an example of one of the stencils that I have. And this series is called Nature's Gatherings. And you'll be getting either one of the, my big stencils or two of my smaller stencils that are brand new um, for the price of the kit fee in the workshop. And um, let me show you a few of the things that I've made using my stencils. This is a little book that I created just to be able to share how I use my stencils. I wanted to show you that you can use them on more than just paper. You can use them on fabric. You can use them on uh, printed out designs that you um, have in your photographs. You can um, add pen and ink to them. You can have different layers of backgrounds. You can add stitching. You can use pan pastels, you can use inks, you can use acrylic paints. There's so many different ways that you can use your stencils. And I did this workshop at Art Unraveled and um, the students loved it and they were so creative and had so much fun. Anyway, so that's those stencils. Let me show you my new stencils are um, also nature related and they're coming out just um, the first week of September and the second workshop I'm going to be teaching at Art and Soul is a one day workshop and it's called Tapestry Collaging Your Story and I've come to notice that Many times when I make a collage, I will add different pieces of fabric and paper in the background and they kind of create a tapestry. And I first got inspired to do this type of art when I was in New York City at a book signing for Seth After's book, The Pulse of Mixed Media. And I, I took photographs of this beautiful rug that was in ABC Kitchens or ABC Kitchen and Design. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. And it inspired me to use that as a um, background for my pieces. Here's this is one of my favorite tapestry collages. I made this just for the book, Paint Mojo by Tracy Verdugo. And this is the piece I did for the book. And this book is one of the best books ever, I think. Well, I like mine too, but this one is a really great one. And um, Tracy is absolutely wonderful to work with. Um, so if I can show you this closer, I did this on mulberry paper. I collaged different images across and around my page and that's how on these on these um, collages I did work around my pages and then in each area or not all of the areas but sometimes in each area I'll add, add a little book type structure found objects a piece of metal another image like here there's a, a image of a butterfly I don't know if you can see that um, all these images and symbols are things that are important to me and part of my life. And that's what I wanted you guys to create when we work on tapestry collaging your stories. So I so 
So if you know my work or you're just getting to know my work, you'll see that oftentimes my techniques and my processes overlap and I use many of my techniques in, in one piece of art. Um, the last workshop I'm teaching is a really special workshop. It's called the Alchemist Book of Treasures. It's the first time I've taught this and in it we're going to be making our own handmade book and inside we're going to be attaching different treasures and here's an example of the of the book that we'll be making in my book that was published in March of 2016 storytelling with collage I do have a chapter on collage with found objects and this piece that you'll see on these pages is now in a gallery in Mount Shasta, California. It's a beautiful town and the mountain is amazing. Um, it's very close to where I live, only a little over an hour away. And um, in the class, we're going to begin with, with creating our book structure and then attaching different objects like stones. This is a stone that I'm going to be wrapping with metal and pieces of wood, twigs and branches, old lace, um, pieces of jewelry. I, I'm showing you this as an example. We won't be making this box. Maybe another time. This is called Emergence. Um, as well as showing you those, I wanted to show you this is a book that I made just for cloth, paper, scissors, and I was so proud and honored to be featured on the cover of their magazine in, for July and August. And this is the book you'll see inside of it. And, and so these are the pages, and on each of the pages, you'll see how I attach different things, which I'll be helping you guys do. Adding st stitching, fabric, there's lots of uses for sticks. Little pieces of grass. Or so I would love, in closing, I would love to have you join me in one or more of these workshops. And I would like to share all the things I know and all, all the different ways I create and um, you know I would just love to inspire you and teach you my different processes. Thank you so much and I'm really excited about teaching art and soul and I hope to see you there.